guys. RV Life with DJ Darren. We got a little fuel pump fuel update. So, I've been having issues with the system not delivering fuel to the carburetor. Uh, even though I put a brand new fuel pump in the, elect the electric fuel pump inside the gas tank. I had to drop the tank and I put a new pump in there. And then I also replaced the mechanical fuel pump that's on the side of the motor, which me operates mechanically. A little arm in there moves, and it pumps. It helps pump. So that so there's one in the back in the in the tank, the electric one, and there's a mechanical one in the front at the motor. Well, both of those I replaced, and somehow in less than 200 miles, the whole system has failed already. Um, so what I was going to do anyway was replace the mechanical fuel pump anyway I wanted to just remove it and replace it with another electric pump that that could be somewhere where I could where I could just replace it real quick and have easy access now the main thinking on that was because I want to reduce any energy that the that that the engine has to use the engine has to use some horsepower to to move that mechanical fuel pump um, and so if you remove that and put a block plate on there and have it electric then the motor gains probably about five horsepower because it's using mechanical power to operate that mechanical fuel pump you know what I mean so I want to remove all the stresses from the motor my next thing I'm gonna to do to, to remove stress from the motor will be to remove the radiator fan which operates from the crankshaft that takes the most power now I'm going to just swap that out to electric because as with solar I have all the electric power in the world all the time so I'm going to I'm going to have a huge horsepower gain replacing that radiator fan and it won't have to be the motor won't have to be pushing that anymore I'll have two high powered electric fans that will be like double triple cooling you know I'll be able to cool more than enough from that point on. So, but anyway, that's the theory, and that's that. It, it's it's not a theory; it's facts, physics. So, saving horsepower, removing that mechanical fuel pump, and even those those are bulletproof. They do fail. So one of them failed. So I'm sick of that. So I just bought a good electronic fuel pump right here, as you see right here. That's my new one. Now I had, I had already ordered that before. I was planning on putting that in the rear and doing some stuff. But then the whole system failed. So I was like, okay, now I have to do it immediately. So this is my modification now. So I got I got a clear uh, fuel filter. I recommend getting one glass if you can. This is plastic. And the end of it kind of warped a little bit. But... It's been good, so I use it. I like to be able to see my gas in there and filled up. Right now it's empty because I, I just installed all this, but I like to be able to see it. The whole can goes on here. I can look at this real quick on the side and see if I have fuel coming in, and then it goes right to the carburetor right there. So I love that. I want to be able to see it. And so right now, now my new system is I got my fuel pump uh, right here. I think that's a little regulator on there too, but... I got my fuel pump right here mounted. I'm just going to zip tie it and then the line goes through here, whatnot. And then I'm going to send it, I send it down there through that metal hole and straight down. So where it needs to go, it's straight down from there is where it needs to go below the motor. So that's where it's going to go and continue on from the frame, which the actual line uh, comes out from the frame. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing on that complete that system and then I'm probably you know this whole system is going to be converted to fuel injection you know in the future soon so I don't want to do too much but if my electric fuel pump and my gas tank failed then I'm just going to take that whole thing out and I'm going to make an external so I'm just going to add another one of these right on the outside of the gas tank instead of internal because I just need it to last for a while because then I'm going to be switching to fuel injection I, have, I already have the whole MSD fuel injection unit and I have an MSD electronic ignition ready to go so the the fuel injection requires a very uh, a higher pressure fuel pump so 
that's going to be all, I'll have to do all that system different. So that's why I'm saying I don't want to have to do a bunch of stuff on this. But I, I will end up having to anyway. But we're switching to fuel injection within a year here. So, But we need this system going. We need to get on the road. We need to, we need to be able to reliably start every day. And I want my fuel pumps to be where I can feel them and test them. And if I have any problem, I can get a generic pump at any O'Reilly or AutoZone I can buy. If I have any problem anywhere in America, I can replace that pump immediately. Whereas a mechanical pump, there's only one that will fit. And you have to get under there and do it and all. And and if they don't have it in stock, you got to wait for days. Whereas this... You can you can tie in any generic uh, fuel pump for a carburetor in this system, and then get back on the road and get going. So this cost me like twenty five bucks, twenty bucks, and I'm gonna order another one. And like I said, I'm gonna put that on the outside of the fuel pump, uh, outside of the fuel tank, uh, thirty feet back, and it's gonna help because you need two pumps. To be able to pump this far, if you only had a, 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 a like a an old Camaro or something like that, you would only need one pump. But we're pumping this thing like 35 feet, so it needs two pumps to be able to do that. And the pressure is at about seven pound, seven psi, seven pounds of pressure is what I have it at the regulator. So that's what we're doing. And uh, for now, to move it, I had to I had to run a I had to run this line into a gas can to move it because it was stuck on the street. So I had to run that line into a gas can and then drive home, and it worked great. It worked great. But that's my new system now, and so it's just wonderful. You know, you can see it, you can get to it, you can you can put your hand on the pump to feel if it's working. You can see it, you can get in there, you can see. If you got gas and it should be all filled up really no air should be all filled up um, so I'm very excited uh, because I'm sick of having problems in the system and and uh, we're gonna not have that in the future so so there's that there's that update look at that horrible nasty carburetor I can't believe it still works great um, but I'm excited to switch to fuel injection and get rid of that thing but it's it's working great. It runs. It runs. Pretty bad gas mileage, I'm sure, but it runs and it it's hanging in there. So it sat for 15 years and no rebuild. So it's been running good, and I haven't had to rebuild it or nothing. I've been a few hundred miles. So anyway, so that's my fuel system update. Love it. Love it. Love it. 25 bucks. Loving it. Um, so that's that. And then I also need to get another one of those that that got damaged when I originally twisted it, and it's really hard to replace. So that's next is try and get a, a different system here going so that I don't have a twisted tube. But it works and it's got enough pressure to 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 work in the carburetor, so it's fine. But like I said, not trying to do too much carburetor stuff because we're going fuel injection. I paid a thousand dollars for the for the new MSD unit, so I want to get that on there, and I don't want to put too many m miles on the RV and without getting that on there. So, for example, if this gets eight miles to the gallon, and I go a thousand miles, the MSD could get twelve, so that'd be four hundred dollars. So it could be one trip. So one trip from San Diego to Seattle, I could save over four hundred dollars just running the MSD so it's like the more miles I do on this the more money I'm gonna lose so I need to get that fuel injection on there immediately so I can save gas because I'm about to go to all 50 states and that's gonna save me a ton of money and, and I'm gonna have a lot more power and I'm gonna save a hell of a lot more gas so it's worth the money and I'll, of course I'll have a video for that and all that and install video for that it's gonna be dope but that's the MSD fuel injection conversion it will convert any V8. It's awesome. And then I also got the MSD electronic ignition unit for 250 and brand new wires and everything to go with that too as well. So that'll be great upgrade to that wonderful new system. So, And it works with the fuel injection too. So that's awesome. 
you guys I'm super excited so much work uh, that's that though I'll keep you guys updated as always peace